Fighter would be the last one standing. I'm doing an Invoke deck oh, profile today. I'm playing three Alistair the Invoker. Uh, that's your main search card for your invocation, which is the card that pretty much sets the deck off entirely. Uh, you can also use Alistair to discard him uh, to give your fusion monsters an extra thousand attack. Um, I'm also playing the deck with a uh, Metal Foes engine, playing three Metal Foes Bismagia. Uh, for searching the rest of the Metal Foes cards. It does all the search. You can destroy it to search monsters. You can use its Pendulum effect to search stuff. Uh, then three uh, Metal Foes Silvered, three Metal Foes Gold Driver, and three Metal Foes Volflame. I'm not playing the other Metal Foes main deck thing because it kind of makes it a little clunky and it offsets my probability for Pendulum Scales, uh, getting both. So I'm just playing three of each of those ones. I'm also playing three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Uh, it's a tuner, it has its uh, discard effect, so it can destroy things, and it's also a light monster, so we can make our main fusion monster for the deck. Uh, I'm also playing the one Max Z, because Konami's assholes and they took the other one away. Are you like 80? Uh, moving on to spells, I am playing only one invocation. Probably not the best idea competitively, but this isn't really a super competitive deck. And invocation has uh, amazing recyclability. If you're going to play competitively, I recommend you get a second one, but I'm not, so I'm just playing the one. And if anyone's trying to call us out saying we haven't, we have pulled more than one, so get fucked. Yeah, John had one. Uh, I'm playing three of the field spell, Magical Meltdown, because it searches Alistair for one, which allows you to search into Invocation, making the whole thing easier. It also stops your opponent from uh, negating your fusion summons and activating uh, trap hole cards when you fusion summon. So they can't actually stop you from putting your fusion monsters on the field. Uh, probably not a bad card to put in other fusion decks if you're playing anything else. So it could take ten. I'm also for playing... Three Book, Book of the Law. The uh, I can't really do a whole lot of different summons, so Book of the Law is a good way for me to get uh, situational cards like Rajin, Cosidus, um, and there's one other one, uh, Kaliga, so most of the time on the field to set up for other plays. <laughs> I'm also playing one full Metal Foes Fusion and one Metal Foes Fusion for the Metal Foes engine. I only play one of each of the Metal Foes support because that's all you really need. As well as two Twin Twisters because I was having issues with spell trap destruction and I don't know why I didn't have this in the original version. Uh, one Upstart Coblin because Konami are assholes and they took away the other ones. Like, I don't know how if you were on the <laughs> All 32 other upstart goblins. <laughs> so for well, traps, I'm only actually playing six traps. Like uh, oh, I'm actually, no, I lied. I'm playing nine traps. But this is almost Sorry, I lost a couple there. I'm playing two Omega Summon. It's a little situational. I don't normally have a whole lot of banished invoked monsters because I get the ones I need on the field and they generally stay there. Again, I don't really play the deck competitively. Maybe I should. So two Omega Summon. Yeah, they represent. Just like before, one of each of the Metal Foes traps, Metal Foes counter, and Metal Foes combination. That's all you really need. They help uh, push that engine along. Um, I'm playing one bottomless trap hole, one compulsory evacuation uh, device, one solemn warning, and a pair of dimensional prison. Because as I believe John pointed out previously, nobody expects battle traps. I'm just saying. We're getting back there. We are, hopefully. That we, we get like all the way back to that because I had fun with those four hats. Uh, the extra deck, I've got one number 11 big eye. I got plenty of level 7s so I can make uh, turn into this, mostly from the Metal Foes stuff. Hey, question. If Willy Wonka had nunchucks, would they be made out of candy? Yes. Okay. Okay. What if there was 10 Willy Wonkas? They'd all have candy nunchucks. Probably also made out of the children that got shrunk down and turned into chocolates and shit. <laughs> Uh, anyways, moving on. I'm playing one of each of the Dragons of the Ice Bear. We got Brionic back, <laughs> finally. So I'm going to make use of that. This Brionic I have is not the Erratic one, so i got to be careful of that. Um, and then one Trisha. We've had that back for a while. Um, for Fusion Monsters, I'm playing one Full Metal Foes Alkahest. Um, if I ever get around to buying another Mithrilium, I'll probably replace it with that. But it's situational, but can be useful. You only have one. Uh, for That's the entire UN. Moving up, I've got two Invoked Kaliga. Invoked Kaliga is a dark door, and it 
can I stop think, uh, your opponent from just really going off heavy with now, monster you effects, really long, you uh, which can be helpful. I play two, it's a little difficult to get two on the field in one game, but it can, it, uh, Book of the Law makes it a little easier. One invoked Ragin, and one invoked Cositus. Uh, again, they're some of the more situational ones. Invoked Ragin lets you switch your opponent's battle positions, or uh, flips opponents, or any monster face down. And Cositus cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects, and it can attack from defense position. It's got the 2900 defense, so it can be a little hard to get off the field. And it, it's kind of a wall. Look, I vote the UN. Uh, really fantastic with two you. Metal Foes Mithrilium for <laughs> the Metal Foes engine, kind of the crown piece of it. Like, again, I would probably put a third one in here if I had it. They're not expensive, but I just don't currently feel like spending the money on it. I'm poor shit. Uh, one Invoked Purgatrio. He's actually a really good card, because he gets more attack the more cards your opponent controls. And he can do some piercing damage. Uh, but, yeah, on that, I only played one. I'm also only playing one Invoked Mage Alanica. There's been no, a lot of... Have, no, I've seen a lot of Earth monsters launch. getting oh, played. Yeah. So, uh, you can actually use Invocation to knock some of those out of your opponent's graveyard. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think that's no, I'm just saying, if you, you anyway, off to the, this so That's two of those. Uh, two Invoked Mikaba. This is the big yeah, fusion yeah, monster it's when it like comes to Invoked. It has the ultimate Providence effect, with the added bonus that it banishes whatever it negates. Oh, we don't? Uh, no, instead of destroying it. The it's yeah. the big fusion monster. It's the one you want on the field at all times. And then one invoked Elysium. I might actually try to play a second one because it's actually a really good card. Uh, it acts as all attributes and you can banish an invoked monster from your field or your graveyard and then banish all monsters your opponent controls of the same attribute. So it's just kind of a field clearing uh, beat stick. That is all I have for my deck. Thank you very much. Click some buttons. Have some fun.